it's actually good evening to me in India now. I think probably there has been a lot of disruptions happening in the world of science today. There are a lot of new things which have really worked in order to give computation much more faster, in order to give right approaches, in order to solve the problem statement. Let it be any field as a matter. Machine learning algorithms has given out crazy, crazy improvements in order to give you the right algorithm, the right tool in order to make your life much more easier. A lot of new things. Waymo came out with that of a self-driving car, a new technology, Tesla Autopilot, an FST computer, which was released during the 2019. Thus changed as soon as the Google open sourced the machine learning framework or the deep learning framework, the TensorFlow during 2015. Thus, everybody came out with new set of algorithms. Everybody came out with new set of approaches. A lot of new things. But it changed now. How? Protein structures are being analyzed by the complex infrastructure, which has been reduced by one set of algorithm. Of course, we had a lot of new things coming out in other industries also. But proteinomics, genomics, and also in terms of computer architecture, there's a lot of new changes which have come. Thus, TensorFlow came out, a lot of disruption in the market. There are a lot of things which PyTorch, CNTKX, MXNet, and XGBoost, CatBoost, SciPy, NumPy, XRE, everything can be an open source project, but they are disrupting the market in a new way. Not about the technologies which have been working, but also in terms of algorithms. And also, Arxiv gives out 50 to 150 publications every day. That means there's a lot of hustle going on in the machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, AI, self-driving car, and much more. Math is getting complex. Mathematics is the key. Thus, everybody is learning one or the other way. The math behind the process and now giving out their approach in order to make the life easier and solve the complex problem statement. Let's just focus on proteinomics. This was one of the fields where they never thought this will really change the phase in which computer can interact, re understand the reaction, and also give out feasible computation time in order to give proper results, which were much accurate for the studies they never had imagined how a computer can indulge in this field because there was a lot of physics chemistry biology involved in this field which actually changed the way in which we were working on but now computers are getting more rigid complex and more humane in order to give such understanding what is a protein protein is compound which is being formed in order to give a structure in order to give a complex chemical in order to make the living or a non-living entity exist there are a lot of ways in which plants do are uh, being said living but yet everything is just a fold of the fold of those compounds called as protein in fact we as a human are the set of proteins which have been bound we all might be thinking that we are fat, thin, ugly, beautiful, wonderful. Probably anything. You are just a form of protein which has been bound. Thus, to give you a deep understanding what this protein is, the video from DeepMind in order to understand the protein structure, which they understood in order to solve the problem statement. This video is from DeepMind.org. I think can give you a view of what protein structure I think this can help in understanding a viewpoint and what protein structure is in a nutshell I think the previous video gives you the right understanding of what this protein can be these are just the folds of what amino acids can be and how this structure can give this protein structure can give you a lot of new ways in which the same chemical composition can behave in a different way thus giving it a chance to study from a computer is a big deal of 
set of algorithms which are being used and also in terms of getting the right results out. This is the GIF file from DeepMind.org. This basically was just that one file which gave me a brief understanding of what they are intending to study. It's a GUI based system which helps scientists in proteinomics, genomics and other fields in order to understand what this protein can be. Complexity is hidden because the algorithms are working. Computer is working. GPUs are computing the matrices. But yet, this can give you a brief idea of what the system can be. Thus, giving out time for the researchers in understanding the protein structure and giving that right approach for what this protein can be. Recently, I saw an advertisement from University of Toronto where the scientists had worked on the cancer on the drugs which can work on the cancer just by giving an approach of a lego that means he is just trying to understand the structure of the protein their behavior and now giving a protein in order to destroy it something which binds together with it can solve that issue thus understanding these structures can give a lot and lot and lot of new ways this is what deep mind gives to you as a result this is one pick from the repository and also this pick is from the deepmind.org what this system is it has the set of protein sequences gets trained on a neural network algorithm there is a database which deep mind or the casp 13 or 14 challenge had where they start interacting with it thus Training a model, getting it on the system, transfer learning, deep learning, machine learning, whatever might be that algorithm which they are trying to build. It can be a set of algorithm which can do the work. So now there is two parameters called as distance prediction and angle prediction, which gives out the new way in which the structure of the protein is being analyzed. This is not the new way. Of what the study was but to the computing world it's a new way of learning ASP challenge this is based on this hyperlink which I'm sharing here which basically gives you this challenge out for the world it's an open sourced data set where anybody can work if you have a compute probably if you have a cloud instance with which is able to run such complex data set go for it this is directly from the deepmind.org where they explain what this alpha for it had contributed for the CASP challenge. It takes a huge and a humongous work to segregate such complex data set. Thanks to CASP for open sourcing it and also giving it as a challenge for the world. Why these predictions are much more complex? Because they tend to isoform. Isoforms are the ways in which protein bounds with new set of proteins in order to give a new structure a new way in which the protein behaves thus making it much more complex every isoform can have a new impact just like how a beta complex amyloid beta complex or the tau protein reacts for the alzheimer's isoforms are the main cause there you can never understand what it can do understanding the structure will give that probabilistic view of i think it can give a plausibilistic view on what this protein structure can be there is a lot of complexity involved in the studies of these complex structures or the protein folds money time efforts infrastructure why because this is one technique which uses good amount of space, human effort, and also a lot of money. There are techniques like these which are of less infrastructure, but yet more complex. And also this takes a lot of money, infrastructure, human efforts, and also time in which these complex structures 
to be analyzed can take up to an year. It's not the time which in research awards. And sometimes there are chances where there are false results coming out in understanding the structure. This is the blog post from the AR 1972, where they say that there are structures which are changing the way the protein behaves. This was one of the reasons where it also got a Nobel Prize for just saying it's in order to understand the complex structure, you're not supposed to study the chemical composition, you're supposed to study the structures which these compounds can form. There are a lot of folds, there are a lot of angles, there are a lot of distance parameters which are being studied, which is much complex for a human to understand it. Thus, computer can help you in giving out the right approach. Protein primary structure, this is one of the Wikipedia blog. Do check it in order to understand what this protein structure can be. Leventhal's paradox, which is basically giving out what the complexity is in understanding the protein structure. And predicted complexity of 10 to the power of 300, that is more than a billion, a trillion parameters. It's impossible for a computer on those days in order to understand it. But Leventhal paradox gave out what's the complexity involved in it. Thus, making sure that using algorithms, thinking in advance, or else making a computer think in advance of what this structure can be, can give a probabilistic view of what this structure can be all about. They have also used the package called as TensorFlow probability 0.7.0 in order to give a right approach. Thus, Leventhal's paradox is one of the parameters where they are using probability in order to understand the structure. Global distance test is that parameter where they are basically giving that right way of understanding what the computer's complexity in understanding it. Just like how we measure the accuracy, the loss, this global distance test is one of the parameter which is used in understanding what's the complexity involved in the structure. Also, do go through these topics which are used in proteinomics, genomics, basically bioinformatics as a matter. In the results of 14 CASP assessment, result from alpha fold is much more higher than what the alpha fold 2 is. It's actually in orders of the median distance where I'll be explaining in the next slide. It can give rise to a new set of membrane that means it can give rise to a new approach in the research of stem cells. Median free modeling accuracy from the CASP challenge. From 7 to 14, there has been a lot of changes in the research and the approach which they give. There are more ups and downs in terms of accuracy, but yet global distance test has never seen such an improvement which is seen in 2020. This is one of the GIF, a file from deepmind.org which says what this protein structure is, an RNA polymerized NRD chain tip, which is basically one of the experimental results and also the computational predictions of what the structure was. Thus, being it much more accurate. Nevertheless, these structures can be useful in understanding what the structure are, giving it lesser time for understanding what the structure is, more time in order to structure can, in such a less time, can give rise to more, can give more time for the researcher and develop drugs and also help in understanding the physiology or the physics behind what this protein is doing for a living entity. Thus, this is one of the ways which actually says what's the format of result will be. And this is what results are being to you. It's not being open sourced yet for the deep mind, but yet when they open source it, we can surely see what the result was. This is from a repository, a GitHub repository, which they have given out the results. They have open sourced the code. 
do check it out if you are accessible with the compute. Probably a cloud instance from an IBM or cloud from the Google or from the Azure platform, you can start working with these code which are available. Probably tuning some parameters, looking for what can be happening in that system can help you get the right approach and also can help you work in such problem statement. Cache commons, it's basically where you are going to register for this cache challenge, where you are supposed to get the data set, make sure that you are working on the right set of algorithms, make sure that you are working on the right set of just make sure that your algorithm is not getting complex and reducing the computational complexity. They still love their world. They just code, code, code every day. These are the packages or the frameworks which they have used in order to understand what this protein structure is all about. Potential of this project is phenomenal. As told in the video of the deepmind.org, probably if the protein structures are being understood, there are a lot of applications which can come out just by the proteins. These are the set of references which I have given in order to understand what the system is all about. So do check this, I have links which I have given here. Thank you.